this is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at this interesting project called Hugging Pix. It is about fine tuning a vision transformer for anything using images found on the web. Okay. So the idea here is that you can define some search terms. Now based on the search terms, 150 images for each of them will be downloaded and then they'll be used to fine tune a VIT or a vision image transformer for classification. And then this model can be also be pushed into the hugging face hub. Okay. So before uh, going to the demo, let us look into what is vision image transformer, right? So vision image transformer was introduced in June 2021 by a team of researchers at Google brain. So the author of this project, Nate has this interesting blog over here where he has explained about fine tuning vision image transformers for image classification with hugging face transformers. Okay. So the key idea over here is that how is this different from a NLP transformer? Okay. In NLP transformer, you will have words which are then made into tokens and then the tokens along with position encoding is given to a transformer encoder. Here, the change is that you have an image which is uh, split into patches, right? Or subgrid, it is split into a grid of sub images. Now, each of these patch is embedded with the linear projection. Okay. Now this linear projection of this patch plus the position embedding is given as input to a transformer encoder. So basically for this image, if you see over here, it is made into patches like this. Now each of these patches is, uh, there is a linear projection of latent patches. Then there is patch plus position embedding. This becomes a sequence of tokens, which can be fed to a transformer encoder. And this transformer encoder can be pre-trained and fine-tuned just like your NLP transformer encoders. So that is a simple idea of a vision transformer. Okay. So in this particular blog, uh, accompanying it is also a collab notebook, which you can use to actually fine tune VIT for image classification. Okay. Now let's go to this hugging pics notebook, collab notebook. And uh, what I'm trying to do over here is that I want to try this out to see if I can develop a simple classifier, which will classify an image as a cat image, a dog image, a tiger image, or snake image. So this is a simple animal classifier as I call it. And um, uh, these are my search terms. So once I run this code, uh, what it does over here is that it will get these images from the web and then it will also store into a folder called images over here. Right. So here you have 150 images of cat, dog, snake and tiger. Right. So once these images are there, then it creates your validation and training data sets. Okay. So once these validation and training data sets are created, uh, here a plot is shown of these images just for verification, quick verification of some number of samples of each class to see if the images, downloaded images are fine. Because this is an experimental uh, search engine for downloading the images right and it may not be accurate so you can do like this you can visualize and verify some of these images and if images are bad then you can actually go and replace those images with the appropriate images so here we have these images for each of these classes of cat dog snake tiger okay then you are actually doing your uh, model fine tuning over here and you do all this uh, custom collator class for feature extraction um, to extract. This is basically using the VIT for feature extraction, right? So the vision image uh, transformer is used for feature extraction and this is from pre-trained Google VIT uh, base patch. This is the model, right? So here you are doing the feature extraction and then you are training a classifier. Okay. And for this training, the classifier, uh, they have used PyTorch lightning over here. And once you have uh, trained your classifier, you have fine tuned it. Then what happens is that, so here you have uh, details of how this uh, classifier about the training details over here. And then you can check if it works on the validation data set, and then you can push it into the hub. The code is present over here. I will not get into details of this code. And uh, for this to be this model to be pushed into the hub, you should have a hugging face account, right? So now let us look at how this model looks like, right? So this is the hub where this, uh, you know, this is the link of the uh, model. And here, uh, you know, this is says auto generated by hugging pics, create your own image classifier for anything by uh, running the demo. And here are example images, okay, cat, dog, snake, tiger, and I call this as animal classifier, right? So here I've actually tried out with an image of a cat and it shows 
you know cat has the highest probability among this various other classes okay so this was about hugging pigs uh, this is quite an interesting project okay assuming that now you would want to customize on your data set you can either look at this notebook over here right and you can try out with this particular notebook as well uh, by appropriately changing the various uh, images right uh, so this is from a data set but if you want to do it from your own images what you can do is that you can use this code which is present over here in this particular notebook except that the change will be that you know you will not download from the internet okay what you will or you can download from the internet and you can copy the images into appropriate folders uh, only thing you need to take care of that it is that suppose you are doing an x-ray image classification okay you want to classify images of chest x-rays uh, foot x-rays wrist x-rays into their appropriate categories then what you will do is that you will collect the, all the chest x-ray image you will create a folder called chest x-ray over here and copy the images of chest x-ray into this folder you will create another folder of say foot x-rays and uh, you will create a folder foot x-ray and then you will copy all the images of the foot x-rays right and then you will copy all the images of a wrist uh, x-ray and put it into a wrist folder so now you will have chest wrist and foot under this images folder and this code should be able to run and it will can create you an x-ray classifier basically using the vision image transformers i hope you found this video on hugging pics useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel you can also try out this uh, vision transformers and see how it works for your images see you in another video happy learning